afternoon. Sorry it's so late that I'm coming on today. If you're one of those that view it in the morning or early afternoon, I apologize. We do not have e-learning today. We are on spring break, so it's been a little bit louder around here than normal. So I just finally got a break and I'm gonna do this real quick. I hope everyone had a wonderful Easter yesterday. Um, you know, not a traditional Easter for us by far, but we were able to watch a great service um, through live stream. And then we were able to go outside and have an Easter egg hunt because it was so beautiful outside. I hope you were able to enjoy the day as well. Um, I'm reading from a new book today, okay? Uh, this is one that I have for my kids. It's called Our Daily Bread for Kids. Um, it actually hits almost all five days this week, so this will be the one that I'm referring to. It's more of um, kind of a story paraphrase than I would say a devotion, but I can't be too awful picky right now because I'm not having much luck for finding devotions in Acts. Uh, this is focused off of Acts 10, 34 through 35. It's called All the Same. A man named Cornelius was a Roman army officer. He and his family loved God and prayed to him. They often gave money to help the poor. One afternoon, an angel came to Cornelius and called his name. Cornelius was afraid and said, What do you want, sir? The angel said, God has heard your prayers. He has seen how you give to the poor. Send some men to the town of Joppa to bring back a man named Peter. Cornelius obeyed the angel. While his men were on their way to find Peter, Peter was having a dream. He saw a big sheet filled with animals come down to earth from heaven. Some of the animals in the sheet were clean. That means the Israelites were allowed to eat them. Some of the animals were unclean. That means God's people were not allowed to eat them. But then Peter heard a voice saying, God has made all these things clean. Peter didn't understand what his dream meant, while he was thinking about it, the men Cornelius sent came to his house. The next day, Peter went with him, with them to see Cornelius. In the home of Cornelius, Peter met many people who were not Jewish. And then Peter, who was Jewish, understood his dream. He realized that God doesn't look at what country a person comes from or what family a person was born into. God sees everyone the same way. He loves those who respect him and believe in him. Everyone has a chance to be part of God's family. 